Hi everyone, um, I'm super excited for today's video. So I am doing a collaboration video. Our faves for fall 2018. There are tons of YouTubers participating in this collaboration, you guys. I am so excited. Um, I'll have everybody's channels and Instagrams linked down below. So please go and check out everyone else's fall favorites. This collaboration was put on from Mara from Be Free and Have Fun and um, I just wanted to thank her because I'm sure it was a ton of work just because of how many people ended up deciding to participate. So she's been kind of like behind the scenes giving us information, making sure everybody knows who's involved in the collaboration, sending out emails and all of that good stuff. So thank you so much Mara for making this possible because I think this collaboration is going to be epic. Um, so I have 25 fall polishes to talk about you guys. I know it's a ton of polish. When I was getting polishes out, I like just could not stop. And I could have done more, but I was like, okay, you can't sit here for two hours talking about fall polish. You got to cut it down. So I went with 25. I know that's still a lot. Um, I have swatch pictures of everything. These are all polishes I've worn and love. I think they have great formulas. And um, so let's just get into it because I have like a ton to talk about. So I have two polishes from Essie coming up and they are from the same collection. So a couple of years ago, Essie did like a bare, bare nude or nakeds, bare nakeds, I don't remember, but it was like all sort of like um, neutral nude type polishes and I ended up picking up three from that collection, but I have two that I have pulled out specifically as fall favorites and um, the first one is clothing optional. Look at this color, you guys. It is the most perfect nude. I love the way this color looks against my skin tone. It just makes my nails look very elongated. It makes my fingers look um, elongated. It's very classy. Um, this has a gorgeous two coat formula. You guys, I just love, love, love this polish. It is so, so pretty. Um, it goes on so smooth. And um, if you don't have it, I would definitely look for it if you're into this type of nude polishes. Um, I think I saw them on Trans Design still, so you may want to get on there if you are interested, but this polish is amazing. Um, the second polish from Essie is called Mooning. This was part of the same collection, and this is a gorgeous kind of like grayed out blue. I love these kind of like dusty looking um, blues in the fall. They kind of remind me of like when it's going to rain, and um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It has an amazing two coat formula, just like the other one. Um, and like I say, I think I still saw these on Trans Design if you are interested. Um, I just love this type of color in the fall. I think it's perfect. And um, this polish is just, it's beautiful. I love the way this looks. Um, my next two polishes are gonna be from China Glaze. So I tried to give a variety of, um, finishes i tried to give a variety of um brands i tried to give a variety of like old polishes new polishes just because so there's kind of something in there for everybody so i hope that 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 does help because i know some people love essie some people don't some people like zoya some people don't so i am just trying to like give you a little bit of everything um so this polish is still available i'm sure this is called ttyl this is from the china glaze omg collection so I'm not usually drawn to this type of polish, but when the OMG collection was announced, I was like, I'm gonna get everything. And I am so glad I decided to get this polish, you guys. I thought it was amazing and it's perfect for fall. I love how it's kind of, um, I love how it's kind of like a coppery pink and then the hollow in it is gorgeous. Um, You can't see it that great in the lights. I was completely in love with this. It was not my favorite of the collection, but I did think that it was really really great especially for fall and also um it had a good two coat formula went on smooth so no problems with like application or anything this is just another just totally gorgeous polish and then the second one from china glaze is called give me the green light I think this is from a christmas collection but i don't care i love this kind of like um tealy bluish greens in the fall like jewel tones i think that they're perfect for fall and um they go with a lot of like colors that i tend to wear in the fall and winter so look at that sparkle you guys this is one of those glitters that you can get opaque on its own from china glaze which i've told you guys before i love 
Um, this is two to three coats to get opaque and then you will need a thick coat of top coat because it does want to dry like a tiny bit textured but um, you should use top coat all the time anyway um, but look at that you guys so so freaking pretty it looks like like an emerald on the nails um, super sparkly and then like in fall things get kind of like a little bit dreary for me um, like I've told you guys before fall is not my favorite season but when you have something like this on your nails you're like you know kind of picks you up a little bit so gorgeous gorgeous polish um next i have a couple of simple colors that i want to talk about this one is fairly new you still may be able to find it at walgreens this is called mystical and this is from the vanessa hudgens collection you guys this is the most gorgeous shade of copper it has a gorgeous shimmer that is visible on the nail it just really like glows off the nail i'm not usually drawn to colors like this but when i saw the display i was like "Ooh, that's interesting so i decided to pick it up and you guys it's so so good it has a two coat formula um goes on super super smooth and i just love the way that shimmer just gives it like a really really pretty glow and this color is perfect for fall. Um, this just reminds me of like fall leaves and sweaters and drinking hot tea and the few things that I do love about fall, this does remind me of. So very, very pretty polish. Um, I did see these at my Walgreens, so if you are interested, um, you may wanna go check it out there. Next one is um, an older one. This is called Prosecco from the Sinful Shine line. So this is just a very gorgeous nude with like some gold green shimmer. I'm not usually drawn to these type of colors, but the shimmer on this I think just gives it a little something extra. Um, when this came out, people were like dying to get it. Um, it's a few years old, but I do think it is, I think it's part of the core Sinful Shine line. I don't know for sure. Um, I got mine when it first came out because of the hype but um it's a gorgeous gorgeous polish gets opaque in two coats um the shimmer is very very visible on the nail um this is just a beautiful nude especially like for people who can't wear whatever they want to work like this is a gorgeous gorgeous work appropriate polish And then next one is a topper. So I guess I'm gonna talk about what I have underneath it first and then show you the topper. So this one is from Clean Color and this is just called Brown. Very creative from Clean Color. This is more of like a, um, I wouldn't call this a brown. I would call this more of like an orange or like a rust color. But this kind of remind me of, um, it's a Piazza cake from OPI. I don't have that polish to compare, but the one reason I did not get that polish is because I have this polish. Um, this is an older polish for me. I do have quite a bit of wear on it. I've kind of been moving it around, but um, fill line is about to there. And it's actually a one coater now since it's older and it's been open so many times. Um, one coat to get opaque, gorgeous formula. And this color, like I say, perfect, perfect for fall. So the swatch picture I have of the next topper you're gonna see is over this. And um, this topper is from Simple Colors and it's called Twilight Twinkles. And this is just like um, gold shard glitter in a clear base. I love this glitter, you guys. I just think it looks like broken up gold on the nails. I love this glitter, you guys. I've worn it a few times over darker polishes in the fall and it's just gorgeous. Um, It stands out. The shards look super, super pretty. Um, It kind of is a cheaper version of like when that 24 karat, um, I don't know, Mariah Carey OPI came out with it first and then a few other people did it, but it was like actual gold pieces or something this is a little bit like a cheaper version of that in my opinion um i love this glitter and i love to put sparkly stuff on in the fall like i said before fall can be a little gloomy so a little bit of sparkle like kind of brightens up my day and this glitter is just gorgeous i don't know if it's still available but um i am in love with this glitter if you have it get it out put it over something dark it's amazing Next up, I have a couple of um, indie polishes. The first one is gonna be from Polish, and this is called Gilded Olive. 
Look at that green, you guys. This is kind of one of those like ugly, pretty colors. So I bought it because I thought it would be similar to um, China Glaze Zombie Zest, which is on my lemming list. Um, I don't think they're, well, they might, they're similar. Um, but I am in love with this polish, you guys. It has a great formula. It does take three coats to get opaque, but I don't mind. Look at the shimmer on that. It's kind of like a foil, and then it's one of those kind of ugly, pretty colors. Very interesting. I'm in love with this polish. I just think it is amazing for fall, um, even like Halloween, stuff like that. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous polish. Um, next one is from KB Shimmer and this is called Garnet and this is from her birthstone collection and this is kind of like a blood dark um, like a dark blood red and then it has all that like whatever she puts in her birthstone polishes like holographics and flakies and this just really pops off the nail it's so so pretty but it's interesting when this like sparkle is in that darker base it's a amazing polish um this is two coats to get opaque and then it has just the most gorgeous sparkle you guys i'm actually going to put up more than one swatch picture of this just because i feel like i had a hard time capturing like the fabulousness that this polish is and i still don't think i fully did but you have to take my word for it that this polish is just to die for in the fall Um, next up I have a polish from Island Girl and these don't have names but its number is 1521 I got this in Las Vegas last year and I am in love with it um, it has this, like a gold shimmer that is very visible on the nail and it's another one of those just like kind of ugly pretty colors um, I actually wore this for a Skittle Manny last fall and I just thought it was amazingly gorgeous I am drawn to these like really ugly baby poop type of green colors. Um, I just think they're super, super pretty. And it has a great formula, two coats to get opaque. Um, next up is a polish that I don't think you will be able to find again and I do apologize for that. But this is from Wet n Wild and this is called I Dream of Jean Genie. And this is like a gorgeous denim blue with gold shimmer. And the shimmer is visible on the nail. And you guys, oh, this polish is so, so pretty. I never found this in my area, but um, a lovely person on Facebook bought it and sent it to me. And oh, I'm so glad I like decided to have them do that because it's just gorgeous. It's like the perfect color of like blue jeans. And then that gold shimmer is very delicate, but very, very pretty. Um, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous polish. It has a great two coat formula. I love the Mega Last polishes in their white brush. Um, if you have this polish and you have not pulled it out, you should so get it out this fall because it is amazing. It's very close to a Zoya polish. Um, I can't think of the name right now. I want to say it's Yuna. But um, I put them side by side and they are not dupes. But it is a similar look. So if you do like this and... You are looking for something similar. Um, Zoya Yuna is similar to this. And then since we're talking about Zoyas, let's talk about my next pick. This is a Zoya Pixie Dust called Carter. You guys, look at this freaking polish. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this type of like maroonish purple. I just... I love jewel tones like for clothes and everything and this polish you guys does not disappoint it is amazing it has the most amazing um, shimmer on the nail for being textured I just oh I was in love with this I won this from a joyful beauty de stash giveaway and I don't know I don't know like why she de stashed it because I am in love with it I think it is to die for um, it has a two coat formula. Um, I'm sure it's gorgeous with top coat too because look at it in the bottle. But I like it matte. I think it looks really, really pretty matte. And oh, it is just this color. Oh my gosh, amazing. Um, next up, I have a polish from Salon Perfect. This is called Nautical Nights. 
And this is a gorgeous like peacock bluish green polish. I love these type of like jewel toned blues for fall. Um, this is also gorgeous with matte top coat. If you have it and you haven't tried it matte, it's amazing matte. I love this polish you guys. I just think these type of colors look very nice on my skin tone and I think they really stand out in the fall. And it has a two coat formula, to, um, two coats to get opaque. And it's just a really, really beautiful polish. Um, if you haven't tried a lot of Salon Perfects, I do think they have some really, really great polishes. And I think they're made by the same people that make China Glaze. So. If you like China Glaze, you'll probably like those. And they're available at Walmart. Um, next up, I have an older Revlon. This polish is called Untamed. If you guys have been into polish for a while, you'll remember when this was popular. This polish is just a gorgeous like darkened black base almost with um, some gorgeous like purple and gold shimmer. This polish is amazing on the nails you guys and to come out from a mainstream brand is just, it's perfect. Um, I don't remember when this came out. I'm gonna say this has been maybe like four years and I just love this polish. I think it's great for fall. Um, this takes two to three coats to get opaque depending like on nail length and kind of how you apply. My swatch pictures are three coats plus top coat, but the shimmer you get out of it is completely worth it. This polish is just like so, so beautiful. Um, it kind of reminds me of like fall leaves or just, oh, I don't know, but it's so, so, so pretty. Um, I have another combo here that I did so I'm going to talk about the base first and then I'll show you the topper I put on top so the polish I used for the base is called violet silk from Mary Kay I got this I think last year in the fall um so this year I don't think they've done it because usually my friend that sells Mary Kay to me keeps me like on top of the new polishes so I don't know if they had any new polishes this year or not but this came out I think last year for fall and um, I fell in love with it right away. I think it's a very interesting color to my collection. It's kind of like a darker berryish purple but still kind of like grayed out. I don't know. I loved this polish you guys and I think it's a perfect base for like tons of toppers. I put one of the toppers from the My Little Pony China Glaze collection over this last year and oh my gosh it was like a to die for combination. It's a combination I would definitely want to do again just because I thought it was so, so pretty. Um, and this has a two coat formula. It goes on super, super smooth. Um, it has like just perfect cleanup. Um, this polish is just, it's amazing. It's beautiful. And I love it for fall. I actually got a lipstick that matches this a little bit too from Mary Kay. And oh, it's so, so pretty. And then I topped it with um, I Love Nail Polish The Magician and oh you guys this is the most gorgeous combination ever. I'm actually going to insert a video so that you can just see like the color change on the nail. Oh my gosh. Um, when this came out I kind of went back and forth whether to get it because I didn't really have um, very many like of the unicorn what do they call it the unicorn p toppers or whatever um and i'm glad i sprung for it because i think it's so so pretty over dark colors this combination is gorgeous you guys if you have anything similar to this color or this polish put this on top because oh you're just like it was mesmerizing honestly like i had to take a video because i couldn't get a good picture that like showed just how like amazing it was and I feel like the video just really shows you like it's just me going like this but it really just shows you like the amazing color change effect oh my gosh I was totally in love um I don't know if this is still available or not but oh it's amazing you guys take my word for it Um, and then next up, oh, I should have, I should talked about this when I talked about the other polish, but I guess I forgot. So this is five rose gold rings from Polish. This came out 
last year's holiday collection and this is kind of like a rose gold foil um i told you guys foil is one of my favorite polish finishes look at that shimmer just oh you guys look this polish is to die for it literally looks like you just dip your hands in real rose gold and in fall i need pick-me-ups and shimmer and everything to like make my life better and you guys this is just it's amazing um this takes two to three coats to get opaque. My swatch picture is gonna be three coats plus top coat. Um, my nails are longer, so if you have shorter nails, you might be able to get away with two coats. But um, oh, look at that shimmer. The shimmer is worth it. Like if I had to put 100 coats to get the bottle look, I would do it because it just looks like jewelry on your nails. It's so sparkly, so pretty. Um, I love polishes, foils. I think they have some of the best foils that are out there. okay and then next up i have another combo so let's talk about that so the base color is going to be an opi and this is opi get cherried away i don't know what collection this came out from um i bought it at ross i mean not ross i bought it at tj maxx um a couple of years ago and you guys look at this color it's like the most beautiful purpley magenta grapeish color um this is perfect for fall i love these type of berry tones for fall has a amazing formula it's opaque in two coats um it's like a perfect opi berry opi's creams are usually really really good especially these like deeper um like reddish pinks they do these types of creams like i mean they're just amazing with these types of colors and it doesn't stain like the nails or the cuticles like if you are messy with it when you go to clean up it doesn't just want to stay there which i really do like and what i topped this with you guys oh this polish is to die for so this is bobble from tonic look at that oh my gosh so you can wear this on its own but i prefer it as a topper just because on its own you need like three coats to get opaque and i want this to last so i always wear it over like these types of berry colors and oh my gosh it would probably be gorgeous over black too i haven't tried that but look at this so this has the unicorn pea pigment it has color changing flakies it has oh I don't even know what else it has it's like magic in a bottle you guys when you see these two together it's like an amazing combination this is like another one like if you have this polish you need to put it over a berry if you have this polish you need to buy this topper for it because they're like meant to go together in my opinion so oh you guys look at that i'm like every time i stare at this bottle i'm like mesmerized by just how gorgeous it is you need this in your life if it's still available or if it's ever in a restock i don't even know but if it is you like have to pick it up because because it's just it's perfect it's perfection So let me show you the other OPI I picked. Well, I have another tonic too. Yeah, let's do the other OPI. So this is no longer available, I am sorry, but this is a very popular color, so I'm assuming a lot of you have it. This is Every Month is Oktoberfest by OPI. You guys, look at this. It's just like a darkish blackened red. It has the most amazing shimmer. This totally glows off the nails. It's two to three coats to get opaque. Um, my swatch pictures are three coats plus top coat, but I think, like I say, because my nails are longer, that accounts for the third coat. I know when OPI was getting rid of this, a lot of people on the Makeup Alley nail board were like buying them up because they were like, how have I not ever owned this and I want to have it now? But um, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous polish and a classic fall color in my opinion. So I hope you guys have it because it is amazing. I have a couple of similar polishes in my collection to this. I have one from Salon Perfect that I think was limited edition. And then I have one from um, Wet n Wild that I also think was limited edition. But you could probably find something similar to this. Um, so, so, so pretty.
And then my other tonic is Peacock Parade. I like these types of multi-chromes in the fall. Um, I'm not a huge, huge multi-chrome fan, but I do have a few and I always wear them in the fall. But this one, you guys, is like... I didn't get any good swatch pictures of it and I'm so sorry. I feel like I didn't do this polish any justice just because I couldn't get any good like pictures of the color change. So I did the best I could. I'll put the pictures I took in the video, but... You guys just have to trust me that what you see like with this lighting is what you really do see i think the color change on this is one of the best out of all the multi-chromes i own um you don't have to layer it over black like i do with some of my other ones it's two coats to get opaque and just it looks like an oil slick i love this polish you guys if you don't have it and it goes back on stock on tonic site i think you guys should buy it it's totally worth it this is one of the most amazing multi-chromes in all of multi-chromes in my opinion. I know other people have different opinions, but that's my opinion. Um, and then next I have a Kiko. This is number 317 and this is just like a perfect fall grandma polish. Um, these were very popular, this type of color like two years ago and this is one of my favorite ones. Um, it has a gorgeous creamy formula, two coats to get opaque. I love the way this looks on my skin tone. I love the way this looks on the nails. I just think it makes everything look very elongated, very classy. It's just, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that color. I love this type of color for my clothes in the fall as well. And like also makeup, lipstick. I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And um, this Kiko is amazing, you guys. I have a couple of other polishes that are close to this color. Another one from Sally Hansen. I think it's called Espresso. That is similar to this, but this is a little bit more pink toned. And oh, love. And then this is an older polish. I don't know if it's still available or not. This is Sexy in Sequence from L'Oreal. This is a textured polish. And oh, look at that sparkle, you guys. Look at all that shimmer. It's just gorgeous. Um, I had a hard time getting good pictures of this polish too. I feel like it just kind of looked meh and the sparkle was hard for me to capture. But you guys have to just take my word that in person, this polish looks like crushed up jewels. Um, I am in love with it. I think it's pretty. It's two coats to get opaque. Um, and I like I like textured polishes um, every once in a while. I have a few. And every once in a while I just crave a good texture. And this is a good texture. But like I said, not sure if it's still available. So sorry about that. And the last polish I have is from Clean Color and this is called Coffee Addict and this is just a gorgeous like brown green I don't want to call it a metallic um sort of shimmery I don't know what kind of finish this is a cross between a metallic and a shimmer I guess but I love this color on my nails I just think it's so so fun and interesting um this polish has a great two coat formula um ha like i've mentioned in my other videos if you have never tried clean color they smell horrible like really horrible but some of the polishes are amazing um i usually find these for a dollar which is a great price and i just really love this color for fall so 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 pretty cross between like a green and a brown very very interesting and then that shimmer just kind of glows off the nail and then this polish is also gorgeous matte so if you have it and you haven't tried it matte i would for sure do that oh that was all 25 polishes you guys um i hope you loved my fall picks for you for 2018 i hope you have some of these polishes and you get them out um or if you don't have them and you do like them, maybe you can still find them. Um, and please, please, please check out everyone else's videos. I am dying to see what everyone else picked out for fall. I love seeing what all of you guys love. Comment down below what your favorite fall polishes are. Um, maybe I have them. I can go through and find them and try them. 
So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thank you again, Mara, for putting all this together. I think this collaboration is going to be amazing because a ton of my favorite YouTubers are in it. So please make sure to click down below and check everybody out. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.